morning, Sarah Parkins. Thanks for joining me this morning, Liz. Thanks, really Patrick. Appreciate Thank it. you for the invitation. Thank you. Liz, uh, we said that your latest development, Morningside Apartments, based uh, and located in Central Hillcrest. And we don't mean Central, we really are Central. We've got the police station just down the road, post offices, medical centres, shopping centres, gyms, everything on our doorstep. The first question I've got for you is why the name Morningside Apartments? Um, I know there's a bit of history behind that, because obviously we're in Hillcrest at, at the moment. Yes, it's an interesting one. Um, in 1942, yeah. A school, primary school, was established in Hillcrest, and it was called Morningside School. Oh, nice. And the, the history in that school comes about, it happened to be the same year they tarred the Old Main Road. And it was the first um, writing on the tar that pointed out where the school wow. was. It goes back that far. That's incredible. So, um, so, so the name, the name you were, um, obviously is part of the history of, of Hillcrest, which is obviously why, why, why we kept it. That's correct. And following on from that, um, there was a road that linked in, in Kutu Road to yes. Old Main Road. And that was called Morningside Crescent. Okay. Uh, and when dealing with Amafa on, on the heritage yes. side of things, Amafa... Um, wanted to retain something and they suggested that we keep the name Morningside. Which is fantastic because I, I, I think history, history is so important, especially in an area like Hillcrest, which is so full of history. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. I, I know we, we've had a few people ask us, so it's, 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 it's good to get the, the, the background on it. Liz, we've known each other for 20, 25 years, <laughs> which is why we're, we're a bit more brain now. <laughs> But uh, you've obviously been working in the area for a very long time. Could you maybe just give a bit of background to how you got to where we are at, at the moment and, and to your background in construction and developments? Now that goes back a long way. Yeah. 1983 was when I started in construction and developments with a, a JSE listed company, Shuckett Cullum. I remember Shuckett Cullum well. Yeah. And it, it's, I've just stated, it's, it's, it's a fascinating industry, very, much. very challenging, can be rewarding, um, and I just enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. So I started with Shuckett in Johannesburg, moved down to Durban in 1985, and continued. Yeah. And you've also done a lot of commercial, you, you, you've not only done residential, you've also done commercial projects. So. That's correct. Okay. Uh, Liz, obviously the apartment living in recent time has become ever more popular. People are obviously downscaling. Obviously you've got your first time buyers, but you've also got people downscaling. So it really has become a trend. But I know Morningside Apartments, your concept was before it became popular in the area. Can you just explain to us what drove you to the Morningside concept, uh, the apartment living? Just give us an insight into, in, into your vision. The it started in, at a meeting at the municipality, and it's about urban sprawl. Yeah. People are moving into city centres, and Durban is spreading faster than the municipality can afford to provide services. Uh, therefore, the discussion was around densification. Okay. And Hillcrest being traditionally a suburb of an acre mm. per, resi per, per, per um, residence. Yeah. Um, it was needed to relook at the entire town planning of the area. Absolutely. So in conjunction with the municipality, we put the ideas, we had a think tank, a discussion. Um, I went away and then started to work out from a development perspective, the numbers and what works and yeah. what would deliver a better product. Okay. Um, that's where four stories came from. The difficulty of producing three stories where you're walking up is not, it's not, con it's, it's, it's not ideal. Yeah. Uh, whereas four stories and a lift. Mm. Um, and a lift, Liz, sorry to interrupt, but the, the, the four stories will be the first in Hillcrest? That's correct. 
and a lift, no other apartment block in Hillcrest has got a lift either. No. So it's actually two firsts. So That's correct. So yes. The importance of lifts, the import, importance of medical evacuation. Yes. We took into account the living in the apartments, yeah. emergencies, the, the cost of living, and, and what would best suit buyers, owners, and residents. Yeah. And the, the result, the product that we have, uh, is a result of extensive research okay. into livability. Yes. And of course, affordability. Yeah, very much. Yeah, it's also the, um, the it's a modern way of, of living is, has, has changed so dramatically over, over the years. If, if we just can go into the product itself. Um, so we sell in luxury apartments, which are at, at sort of affordable price. Yes. Um, we've obviously got, and we'll take a walk around the site a bit later, but well, we obviously got different different blocks. Um, how many blocks are there going to be in total? Two. Okay. And they will consist of 104, is that correct? That's correct. Apartments. And yes. we, I know we've got some internal pictures behind us. What sets Morningside apart maybe from, from some of the other projects that have been built in the area? It's central location. Very much. Convenience. Yes. The... Um, the monthly cost of living, mm -hmm. where we don't have homeowners associations, it's a, it's a levy and a levy only. Okay. Um, and it's helped by higher density. Yes. Going four stories gives us the density, increase the numbers, which in turn gives better value for money. Absolutely. To, to each of the, yep. the, the, the buyers. It's quite a cliche these days is, is green living and eco, eco living. But I know you've actually introduced some really substantial uh, green products into the development, which will actually reduce the utilities and obviously, uh, obviously help help the environment. Can, can we chat uh, just a little bit about that? That's correct, Patrick. Uh, part of our investigation was um, how to, as much as possible, stay off the grid. Okay not to be fully dependent and reliable on municipal services yeah. and we all know that yeah. at Sponsored. the moment that the government is struggling with the supply of sure. these services. Sure. We therefore, the first thing we did was introduce gas to reduce reliability on electricity. Yes. And the gas in our instance feeds the uh, oven and the gas hob okay. as well as the gas geyser. Which makes a big difference. It makes, yeah. to, to, to the monthly yeah. electricity consumption, it's a huge difference. Yeah, a those, huge those are your two big mm. consumption mm. items of, of electricity. So we've taken that out. Okay. We've also, for the convenience of, of owners mm. or residents, put a gas point on, a, on the verandas. The verandas are all private. So each unit has actually got its own, own veranda. Each unit has okay. its own veranda. Um, and on that veranda, we're putting a gas point for the, so that in the evening you can you connect your, your, your Weber or your, I shouldn't say Weber, but your gas yeah. bry, and there Take it is. Take a beer and have a, have a good Have a beer, have evening. a good bry. A good South African evening with Absolutely. a great view and a lovely sunset. Yeah. That's, that's, and, and, and water, I know you've, got, um, you've taken water into consideration as, as well. That's correct. Um, we're storing water on site. Uh, it, it, it sh we should have between two and three days backup water on site. It's sure, amazing. Um, depending on consumption during okay. those times. Now, the, it, two things. Storing water on site gives us two things. Uh, it alleviates the problem of inconsistent pressure through various units. The guys on the top floor. Yeah. Yeah. having lower pressure and okay. the ground floor having good pressure, yeah. we're balancing that pressure throughout yes. so that everybody, when they turn on the tap, they must have the same, same experience pressure. in the shower. Okay. And that's important. Yeah. Those yeah. little things are very important. Absolutely. So small details, which, which is why I think Morningside really is set apart from, from the other developments, because you really have given this a lot of thought over a, a, a long period of time. And yeah, that's correct. Liz, I know it's an exciting day for you because um, you're going into ground tomorrow, you're actually starting construction. That's correct. So congratulations on, on that. Thank you, Patrick. Um, when, we walk, when we walk the site, we, we will just chat about your, 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 your programs. Um, 
how long though do you expect your construction of the various blocks and various phases? Because we, we're selling this in three phases. Uh, phase one is fully sold out, which is fantastic. And I know phase two, we well on our way to, to selling out, which is awesome. What's, what's your timing like in, in, in terms of that? Patrick, each phase will take 12 months to build. Okay. Now, the critical component in that mm. is how quickly we sell it out. Yeah. Now, phase one is fully sold out. Mm. Phase two, so to work on occupation dates, mm. our program is 12 months. We can do it more quickly than that, yeah. but we are subject to weather conditions. Of and course and um, labor, there are a number of things that, that could affect our progress. Yes. But 12 months okay. is very achievable. Which is, which is fantastic. Liz, we, we obviously sitting, and, and, and to enter the site at the moment, we came off Old Man Road, number 58 Old Man Road. But I believe that the entrance is in fact going to be off in Kutu Road, which is a beautiful, quiet road. Um, can you just chat, chat through that? When, when are we going to close off the old main entrance and obviously open up the Nkutu entrance. Yes, that's correct, Patrick. Um, mm. we, the Nkutu entrance will be constructed. The security house will be built with phase one. Okay. And all residents will use the security entrance. Okay, so old main will be blocked off. Old main road is to be blocked off. We will use it for construction purposes so right. that we do not hinder residents. Yeah. And when we finish our, as we finish construction, yes. we will close it off. Fantastic. Close off Old Main Road. Mm. It's it's dangerous. It's for mm. for for residents to use Old it's Main busy, Road. It's a very it's busy, a busy busy road. Of course, the, the 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 positive of that though is when you do go off in Kutu, you go straight into Old Main. You've got freeway access to the toll roads and and the N3 right running your doorstep. That's correct. Yes, it's yeah. access to. Old Main Road, the N3, as well as Waterfall and all yeah, it has to and offer. Watercrest and, and everything else. Of course, That's from correct. here, though, you can actually walk. I mean, you can walk to restaurants, shops, everything. Yes. Med med medical centers. You, you mentioned the um, security guardhouse, which is going to be... Obviously, security is foremost on everybody, every South Africa's mind at the moment. What other security measures are the residents going to enjoy? 24-hour on-site Guards, and there'll be two of them. Oh, right. In the evening, two to, to help and assist people with traffic. Yes. In and out, and traffic flow and visitors. Uh, and in the evening, one in the guardhouse and a roving guard. So they'll actually be patrolling, patrolling the estates. That's correct. There will be closed right. circuit television cameras right. throughout. Yes. We're putting them on the corners of all of the buildings, okay. so we'll get complete coverage. Right. And now, will, will that be monitored in the, in, in the actual guardhouse? That's correct. That'll be monitored in the guardhouse. Okay. So if somebody decides to damage a vehicle that's there, yes. it will be recorded okay. on camera. And Which is great. Those are important. It's important. Very, very much so. And I know we're also putting in a fantastic pool for the, for, for the residents that's to correct. enjoy. So as far as I, I understand, Liz, this development really is going to be somewhere you can come home to. It's going to be peaceful, you can enjoy the facilities, it can be secure, all within a central locality. Um, can you just leave us with your, your final thoughts on, on Morningside? Um, maybe what you want to see when you lay the last brick and paint the last wall and you actually uh, walk off site? The goal is to have 104 satisfied customers. Which, is, which would be amazing. I, I must be honest, um, I can't wait to see this development finished. I, I think it's going to be great. Liz, thank you for joining me so thank much. Thank you, Patrick. Yes, really we are very well excited. And, and, and thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you.